night at seven, what comes to mind when you think about a visual artist? Well, for most of us, we visualize people drawing with their hands. But one West Michigan artist has turned that idea on its head. All new at seven, 24 Hour News 8, Brady Gillum met a woman who found a unique way to draw without using her hands. Well, it's something many of us take for granted, writing or drawing with our hands. One West Michigan woman was born without the ability to use her hands for drawing. As it turns out, a talent is a talent. It's just a matter of finding a way to express it. Rynita Shepard was born with a talent. Where some kids were in soccer and gymnastics, art was my extracurricular, and it's what I've done my whole life. She was also born with a congenital condition known as arthrogryposis. It basically makes um, it so your arms and legs don't have the same extension as average people. The range of motion is limited. That means she has limited use of her hands and feet. When she started drawing and taking art classes as a young child in Kalamazoo, teachers encouraged her to use her hands anyway. They used to try to strap pencils and pens to my hands or tape them to my hands and try to teach me to do it that way. But it was instinctive for me to just put it in my mouth when they weren't looking because I have better grip in my mouth. She kept using her mouth to draw and she still does today. Anything two-dimensional that I could get my mouth on and do, I've done. She creates lifelike drawings of women who share her disability. To me, it's probably as natural as you doing it with your hand. Rainita is submitting a piece for Art Prize this year called Sexability Smashing Stereotypes with Sex Appeal. I feel like a disability is often shown um, in the public. It's more of a clinical thing and we're also attractive people. People, and I'm trying to show these people th their humanity and their beauty because they are beautiful women um, just like any other woman. To see Rainita's art in person, be sure to drop by Fountain Street Church starting next week. In Kalamazoo, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.